just surprised. I am in Jabode as at the moment, and uh, I can see where soldiers are now leading the troop of Malu. Look at their vehicles. They are the one leading Malu of uh, Buhari Moto, Buhari property. Look at all the home military men controlling controlling Malu. It is a big shock to me that army now have turned to be a cattle in Nigeria. Look at their hillocks. Look at their hillocks following uh, hedges of uh, uh, of uh, Malu. Kasi, the president of Nigeria. It's a big shock to me. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big shock and embarrassment to Nigerian citizens. Thank you, God, for making us to be alive to see this. Amen. Well, the video says it all. Huh, the video says it all. This is happening amid worsening insecurity that has been has seen thousands of Nigerians killed, wounded, or displaced by terrorists or bandits in northern Nigeria or kidnappers or suspected Fulani headers in southern Nigeria. To my greatest surprise, I am in Ijebode, according to what the man said, and saw Nigeria army, the soldiers, escorting the, the so-called Malu, according to what he said, the cows. And that's why you see that, you know, in this, it is in that same... um. Ogun state that we we heard from the monarchs who said the soldiers they they escorted full of the men to their palaces they went to all the uh, monarchs in that area asking them to allow full of the men to graze on the farms of the farmers and at the same at some point the monarchs had to write a letter to be sure that these soldiers that came to tell them all this whether they are from the Nigeria army up to today we have not heard anything from them. They have not said anything. They have not said anything. So this is the evidence that these people are the ones behind this whole thing. They they prefer to take care of these people to to shield them. But once and they would be looking when they are killing people. You can imagine. You can imagine such a thing. Uh, such a thing. Sarah so reporters had earlier, um, had earlier that uh, the Buhari, uh, President Buhari, while feeding questions in an interview with Arise TV. On Thursday, he said, what I did was ask him, the Attorney General of the Federation, Mr. Abubakar Malami, to go and dig the Gazette of the First Republic when people were obeying laws. There were cattle uh, routes and grazing areas. Cattle routes were for when they, they elders are moving up country, not to south or east to west. They had to go through there. But speaking with the punch, Ajibola Bashiru, spokesman for the Senate, said the gazette that Buhari was referring to was a product of a decree promulgated in northern Nigeria in the 1960s. Can you imagine adding that the land use as recognized by the constitution has rendered it ineffective? Nigeria should be concerned over whether the Nigeria president is actually getting the correct legal advice and from his attorney general. And the legal team, the senator said, as far as I am concerned, as a legal practitioner, there's nothing like grazing roots or grazing reserve law. In the laws of the federal of Nigeria, there is nothing like that. There is no federal legislation that the president can implement over such matter. The executive powers of the president merely rely on the powers of the National Assembly to make laws. When you look at section 5 of the constitution, any area where the National Assembly cannot make laws and there is no express grant of powers to the President under the Constitution, a purported exercise of power by the President in that regard will be null and void because it is inconsistent with the Constitution by Section 3 of the 1999 Constitution. I am aware that there is a Northern Nigerian law on reserve and grazing routes which was promulgated by a 1964 decree by the Premier of the defunct Northern Nigeria region. The legislator said there is no way a decree for Northern Nigeria will be implemented as federal law. It is not a federal law unless the legal advisor to Mr. President is equating a Northern Nigeria law which is not applicable in the West, Midwest and Eastern region or in anywhere 
in the southern part of Nigeria to be a federal or a Nigerian law. He said, the president does not have the power to implement that law because it is not federal law. He can only implement federal legislation by made by the National Assembly or demand to have been made by the National Assembly. The grazing Roots Law is not a National Assembly law, so there's nothing for the president to implement. It is regrettable that the president has not been properly advised by his attorney general and legal team. They know what they are talking about. They, they want to just to try their luck. If the worry is he not supposed to ask? Eh, because he's always working with those he, 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 he feels comfortable with the people he knows. So there's no way, even if anybody tells him otherwise, he will not want to take it. But then let them continue to fool themselves if he does not know. So what about the attorney general who has been advising him wrongly? What of uh, Oshibaju? That one is, you can, you can understand what we are talking about. When people begin to talk about Oshibaju, they will say, oh, leave him alone, this and that. And that is to tell you that they are not close. Because if he's really close to Oshibaju, because people just felt that, oh, the president might not be educated enough. He might not be versatile enough. He might not be. He might. He might not. You know, it's not exposed. It's not. It's not. It's not exposed. At least with the vice president, who is a, who is a lawyer, a professor of law, that uh, for that matter, would have been able to help him. But they've sidelined him. The president only listens to the attorney general, and he believes only in those who is close to and those who he knows. So what? How do you expect him to do that? Unless they are telling us that uh, it's a deliberate act. Of course, with, with their statement here and there, you should have known that these people do not mean well. They don't mean well. <laughs> yeah, some are first class citizens, while others belong to other classes. Under the this administration, the Nigeria Army has lost its pride, honor, integrity, and dignity as a force. Before the war, it has been ridiculously reduced to a group of aimless men. You can imagine this kind of shame how do we tell the world that our military is groomed for cow protection rather than safeguarding the nation calling nigeria zoo is an insult and let down to animals in the zoo because zoo is well organized than nigeria animals are well taken care of when they are sick unlike nigeria to our inhabitants i see no reason to compare zoo to nigeria on behalf of me, myself, and I send an apology to animals in the zoo for constantly insulting them and comparing them to a failed contraption. Oh my goodness. You will start losing your audience if you uh, keep uh, carrying such worthless and baselessness. Really? <laughs> oh, mm. he never invited you to like the page. You can as well unfollow the page immediately because I can sense that you are one of them. Of course, it could be one of them. <clears throat> Okay, it's not a fake news. The video video evidence is there. Okay, oh, mm -hmm. you call Nigeria cows because you are agitating for Biafra. Then you are exotic breeds of cows that is that originate from Biafra. What does that have to do with this? <laughs> we are talking of issue on ground. Some people are beginning to talk about Biafra, talking about army. What do you have to see? Is it a good thing or is it a bad thing or is it's normal? No, they will begin to divert uh, attention. Nigeria will never be a clueless country. Uh, for that, we must protect the lives of human and animals, and each amongst those species must have a freedom of association and a freedom of movement. Nigeria is not a country of cow. I don't even blame my honorable who call it a zoo country. The cattle might be owned by a retired general or a senior army officer, and once the order is given, the soldiers or soldiers have no choice. But to obey. But we didn't see anything now. What's the support for presentation of this? Okay. I think this person here, he does not know what he's talking about. Nigeria is a piece of joke. Everything, every Nigerian should be ashamed. That is to tell you that uh, same of them, some of them have stakes in this business. Are we still wondering? Are we still surprised? No, once you will not be surprised.